If you are a student like me, I bet you like to drink. On this channel, we're going to tell you all about making your own booze. From making regular wine, to making meat, to even making other stuff. Like coffee drinks, chocolate drinks, whatever you want. This is Dorm Drinks. Booze. It's everywhere around us. Some people like beer, some people like wine, some people like strong liquor, and some people like none at all. But what makes booze? If you ask me, there are four ingredients. Those are the main ingredients. So, watch your horses. It's uh, sugar, water, yeast and patience. That's how you make booze. It's all quite easy. Yeast are uh, fungi and these cells convert sugar to alcohol. So, if you pour out a liquid, let's say the juice from grapes, and you add a little bit of yeast to that, the sugar in the drink will start to ferment. The yeast will eat the sugar from the grapes, producing alcohol and producing what we know as wine. There are many, many possibilities in making alcohol and that's what I'm going to show you on this channel. We all know wine and before this you've probably seen how I make meat. But there are endless possibilities. Some basic tips for you as a student. As a student you can still make alcohol in your dorm room. I live on uh, 26 square, uh, square meters which I will translate here uh, in just a little room for a student but I still make alcohol here and it just stands here fermenting. However I get that as a student we don't have the, mo the highest budget so there are some easy ways to make alcohol at home. First of all you need a vessel, a bottle. I just choose a one liter bottle for the meat which does, quite, which does the job quite well. If you use a liter bottle the end result will be around 75 centimeters translation here which will be the average wine bottle. But you can use any kind of vessel. It can be glass or it can be plastic. Most people do prefer glass, I myself as well, but if you want to use plastic that's up to you, that's no problem at all. Next you're going to need yeast. Yeast is quite easy to get by, but yeast is very different. You can use baker's yeast, it's marvelous, it still does the job, however it's not top notch. Baker's yeast is easy to get, you can get it at the supermarket, but you can also go online and look for a brewer's yeast. You have different kinds of yeast. You have yeast for beer, for wine, for champagne. It's whatever you want. There's also a thing called turbo yeast, which I will get into in some other episode, and uh, how that works. Next, you're going to need an airlock. To create alcohol, you need to get rid of all the oxygen, because with oxygen it will turn into uh, into acids and without oxygen we will get the alcohol that we so crave. There are many ways to keep out the uh, to keep it out but there's one thing that you have to know. When you produce alcohol you also produce uh, carbon dioxide. The yeast in the uh, in the liquid they eat the sugar and they produce both alcohol and carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide needs to get out. So you can't just screw a lid on and call it a day because that thing will explode. Now, most people will use a water lock. A water lock you can fill up with water uh, and you can see the uh, carbon dioxide bubbling out of this. However, if you want to do this quick and easy, you can use balloons. What you do is put a balloon over the top of the bottle and with a little safety pin prick a hole in it. This will cause the balloon to inflate and the little hole will, cause, will take all the carbon dioxide out. It's marvelous but it's easy and a water lock 
does this the job better. And that's basically how you can make real easy alcohol at home. Those are the basic beginner steps. I will get into more steps and if you have any questions you can put them down below and I will answer them in the next videos. Do you have any suggestions, any kind of boost that you want to see? Put them down below as well as your other questions and we will get back to them and we'll get back to you and have a nice weekend and drink safe.